This is the fourth video about the campaign for safer cycling and walking to and from northwest Cambridge. Here we're going to compare our proposals for what to do in this area with what already exists on similar roads around Cambridge. Here's our location in northwest Cambridge. Here's the desire lines. Here's what we proposed for the Eddington Huntingdon junction involving an integrated two turn crossing, widening a, a footpath, and adding a two turn crossing at Thornton Road. So up at Girton Road, we also suggested this junction should be redesigned. It already has one two-stage two-turn crossing, but that doesn't provide for cyclists and pedestrians coming from this direction over here. So an additional two-turn crossing or a complete redesign of this junction is recommended. The distance from here to here, Girton Road to Eddington Avenue is 580 metres. Is it unprecedented to have so many helpful crossings of a busy road in a distance of 580 meters. Let's go and look at some examples. First I'll compare with these three major roads around Cambridge, looking at distances, looking at the existence of two-turn crossings. In particular, are there crossings near to schools and at roads that lead to schools? Are there any four-way traffic lights that have pedestrian-only phases and how far apart are they? Then I'll talk about Maddingley Road and look at accident data and cyclist survey data. So just to recap, here are the distances in our proposal. 285 metres from the existing traffic light at Girton Road Junction to a new two-turn crossing, then 160 metres to Eddington Avenue. And then beyond that, it's either 110 metres to the new two-turn crossing or 220 to the uh, one that exists in Tweever. First, let's look at Histon Road. It's not quite as busy as Huntington Road. Nevertheless, it is a major road with a junction on the A14 motorway. And here are the crossings in a comparable bit. So there's a pelican, another pelican, and then a four-way traffic light junction with an all-pedestrian phase. This junction is on a road which leads over a matter of a few hundred metres to a primary school. So I think this is a very good metaphor for the situation that exists at the University of Cambridge Primary School, which is a few hundred metres away from a major road. So. There's a good precedent there for saying you should provide good pedestrian facilities on roads that lead to primary schools. And the distance to the nearest Pelican Crossing is a mere 156 metres, which is very similar to what we were suggesting in our plan. Let's look, let's look at Trumpington High Street. There is a primary school called Fawcett Primary School, which is a few hundred metres, maybe 400 metres away from the main road. And if you go down Alpha Terrace to the main road, what do you find? A Pelican Crossing. Then if you turn left and go down into uh, the heart of Trumpington, there's a couple of pelican crossings only 159 metres apart. Then 106 metres further on, you have a major road junction, which has three integrated pedestrian crossings. I think this junction is quite a good metaphor for the Huntington Road, Girton Road junction, with Hawkston Road here being analogous to Huntington Road, and then this side turning to Shelford being analogous to the Girton uh, junction. So it's interesting to compare the, the view. This is the Trumpington view on, on the left of what's been done with these three integrated crossings for pedestrians and I think bicycle compared with what exists and is intended to continue to exist at Girton Road where there's no protection at all here except for this staggered two-stage uh, two-turn crossing across Huntington Road over there. So perhaps this is a good starting point for ideas for a redesign of this junction that actually makes proper safe provision. Third, let's look at Hills Road. The gaps between the Pelican crossings are quite large here, but it's notable that the Pelican crossings are located at the Perth School, Hamilton College, and Hills Road Sixth Form College. So I think what we're proposing is perfectly reasonable and concordant with what already exists on comparable roads around Cambridge. Let's now look at accident statistics. This area here, if, if nothing is done, will surely become uh, a site with new accident black spots. Indeed, there is already a cluster of accidents on Huntington Road. Here's the map of data from 2011. It's not fully up to date. There has sadly been another fatality on this very road. Um, this was the location of an earlier fatality at the Girton Road uh, junction that we were just discussing. And you can see a cluster of events. These are not all involving pedestrians and cyclists, but clearly a cluster here and some more clusters on Huntington Road. The frequency of accidents along 
Mattingly Road appears to be significantly smaller. This is a graph, if you're interested, showing how the accident rate depends on the age of children and whether they're girls, boys, pedestrians or cyclists. Now let's look in more detail at Maddingley Road. In the transport strategy for the Northwest Cambridge development, there seems to be a very symmetrical discussion of Maddingley and Huntington Road. Uh, so here's a quote. There will be two new road junction accesses onto Huntington Road and another new road junction onto Maddingley Road. These three junctions will be traffic signal controlled and will include pedestrian and cyclist controlled crossings to aid their movement. So you might think what's going on on Maddingley Road should be similar to what's going on at so-called Huntington Road East Junction, that's the Eddington Avenue Junction. Uh, let's check. And also let's notice from the transport assessment for the project, this statement based on a traffic survey, the number of cyclists counted along Huntington Road are over double the number counted along Maddingley Road, implying that Huntington Road is currently the more important cycling link. So. The people doing the transport assessment were well aware that Huntington Road is more important for cycling. So what do we see when we look at the famous figure 10, uh, which shows everything that's going to happen for this development? Well, here's Huntington Road, here's Mattingly Road. Mattingly Road has four of these red arrows showing two-pound crossings, protecting, protecting the crossing by pedestrians and cyclists of Mattingly Road. All of those are being built right now. What about Huntington Road? Well, ignore this one. That's the West Junction, which isn't being built yet. Uh, it will not be built for another few years at least. Come down here to Girton Road, no red arrow. Come down here to Eddington Avenue, exactly here, no red arrow at all. The only red arrows are one that already actually exists uh, at Lawrence Weaver Road, and then the new pointless one that's 100 metres away, which will have very little demand until actually this route uh, becomes a real cycle route with a real Darwin Green development. So, amazingly, Maddingley Road is getting lots of two-pound crossings, especially at the comparable junction. Here's the, the, the junction that was mentioned in that transport strategy, and yet there's no red line here. And nothing here where this new route is going to go. I think they're going to call it the Ridgeway cycle path, which is meant to go up here, and there's no provision for it to to safely cross in the inbound direction. So you're welcome to leave Cambridge, but please don't come back on a bike. Thank you very much for listening. Please sign our petition.